Hello, this is Professor Phil giving you a bachelor's degree in business. Today we'll be talking about operations management. Please come visit my website at operationsmanagementtraining.blogspot.com. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Hey, Professor Phil here again. Hey, just wanted to come to you. I want to talk to you about the purpose of productivity and also want to define productivity. So the way we define productivity, uh, just getting right to the uh, equation, is we take our goods or services, uh, or output, and we divide it by our labor or capital, which is our input. So the way a lot of companies will increase their productivity is they'll either say, okay, we want you to produce the same amount but we want you to produce it with less people. So we're gonna change that, the denominator, we're gonna change the labor so we have less labor costs, but you're producing the exact same amount, okay? But we have less labor costs, therefore our productivity goes up. The other way that uh, uh, companies can do this is uh, they can say, okay, with what you have now, with how many hours you're working, we're not gonna fire anybody, but you need to produce more. If you're producing 10 units right now, you need to produce 15 or 20 units. Therefore, we change the numerator and our productivity goes up like that. So in the US, the statistic is, we, are, we increase our productivity by 2.5% a year. So what this translates, so you can kind of wrap your head around this, what this translates to is every 30 years in the United States, our wealth doubles. So just so that kind of gives you a benchmark where to, uh, that, what that 2.5% means. So just want to uh, kind of give you a little statistic about the U.S. And uh, to do a little equation, if you uh, want to produce, two, if you have 2,000 units you're producing and it costs 100 labor hours to do that, you take your 2,000 and you divide it by your 100 and what you get is 20 units per labor hour. So that's 20 units per labor hour for your output and that is your productivity. That's how productivity is measured in. It's measured in units per labor hour. So I just want to kind of give you a little recap on defining productivity, uh, give you a couple examples and what it means in the United States. So till next time, Hey, Professor Phil here. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. I just want to mention a couple of things before you go. Uh, I think that will help students or potential students. So the two questions that are on everybody's mind is how do I pay for school? And as a student, am I, am I really ready to pass all these courses? Because when you get in the 300, 400 level university courses or graduate degree, stuff like that, they get pretty tough. So I want to recommend a couple things from Professor Phil uh, for you to check out. And you can check them out if you want. I'm not not trying to force anybody, so just want to kind of recommend a couple of things. So the first product I want, want to recommend is, look, these people, they've taken the scholarships, they actually say we can guarantee scholarships, and they, they've taken all the scholarships and put them into one complete source. So you can get scholarships in one location. You don't got to go here, you don't got to go there, you can just find them in one spot. So, I mean, why pay for school with your own money when you can pay for it with someone else's money? That's just my opinion. but. And so the second thing is, you know, am I ready as a student? So, you know, we've all spent hours and hours just in the library, just going over and over material and like memorizing it. And it takes forever and we all hate doing it. So I, uh, I recommend a, a memory course that uh, helps people retain what they learn. And it's a memory training course. And, uh, you know, if that's your problem, uh, maybe, maybe there's people out there who are A students. I'm not one of them and I need all the help I can get. So, you know, if you're like me, you might want to check it out. So just want to leave those two things with you. For the links, just uh, check my site underneath this video. I'll have both links posted and uh, check it out if you want to check it out. All right, until next time.